I had intended to play this game during the week before Halloween, and, and I did start playing it. Played it for a couple of days, but all of a sudden I tried to launch it, and it, it wouldn't launch in a window that was bigger than like five by six inches and when I tried to troubleshoot the situation you know looking stuff up online trying compatibility checks you know changing different settings whatever then the game just stopped arrival. launching at all it wouldn't launch from desktop it wouldn't launch from the game manager uh, I contacted Big Fish Games I tried to ask them to troubleshoot the situation they said there was nothing they could do, and they gave me a free game credit. <laughs> they just said, here, have another game on us. Sorry, can't fix this one. Uh, anyway, I just kept fiddling around with it, and eventually I found this weird workaround where I can launch it and play it and save it. I can save my progress. I tested it. Uh, um, I, I did try uninstalling and reinstalling it. That didn't make any difference. Uh, of course, you know, tried restarting my computer and all that kind of stuff. Nothing was working except for this this one weird way of launching it, which is to Step test its compatibility. And it runs. It, it runs that way. It's, it's launched from this compatibility tester in Windows, and, and I can play it. And apparently I can stream it. So here we are. I'm back to this. And I really love it. I enjoy it. I love the artwork. I love the story. I love the whole carnival freak show theme. I love everything about this, so I wanted to be able to finish it. Alright, so in testing the game, I went to the Ringmaster's tent. And I, I did this when I wasn't streaming. I went to the Ringmaster's tent. I looked for a couple of hidden objects. And then I quit and exited the game and came back to see if it would save my progress. And it did. So this weird workaround that I've figured out seems to be working so far. Let's knock on wood. Find Go back the to the ringmaster's to tent. The future. This is actually a hidden object puzzle within a hidden object puzzle. We have objects to find here and we have objects to find in the aquarium. Powered flashlight. Here's the flashlight, but powered flashlight implies that I need to find batteries. Just the battery? Aha! There we go. What the crab? Yes, it is. It kind of looks more like a spider than a crab, but okay. All right, well, we do have a time limit, so if we can't find everything right away, we can move on to another puzzle and try to find as much as we can, as fast as we can, and then worry about the last few objects later. Because we have these hints I can use when I get close to the end. Is that right? There's the skull. Got the skull, yes. That's a corn dog, not a carrot. Bread under the chair. Is that the gear out there? Yes, it is. Now it says brush, but I don't know if they mean paintbrush, hairbrush, a uh, cleaning brush of some kind, like a shoe polishing brush. Who knows? We won't know until we find it. There's the carrot. There's a paintbrush. Yep, that's it. I sense the coming of a powerful darkness. Oh, there's the pen. See, that's a little tiny object like that. There's no way I could see it if it was in a little tiny window. I've got this blown up to full screen on my laptop. That was the problem I was having was when I would launch the game, it would only launch in a tiny little window, and there's no way I'd be able to see things like that. 
Oh, ribbon is probably this blue ribbon up here. So now we just need the light bulb. There it is on the horse. All right, let's go to the shooting gallery. There's a fountain pen. I think we've already found the ladybug in here before. Yeah, there it is. There's the bell. There's the green arrow. Is that the tulip right there? These hidden object puzzles are really hard in this one. Harder than in Ravenhurst, I think. There's Saturn. Alright, we'll come back to it. Let's go check out the concession stand. There's a party hat. There's the bomb. I've been here before, so a few of these things I remember from before. Is that the duct tape? It looks more like electrician's tape. I think I've said that before too. There's the faucet. There's the anchor. Ooh, there's some glowing eyes in here blinking at us. There's a flag out there. Isn't that the flag? Yeah, come on. So the idea is there's this lady named Madame Fate. She's the one running the carnival. And she thinks that one of her carnival employees is plotting to kill her. And so I'm collecting clues and I bring them back to her. And she looks into her crystal ball and then we have to solve puzzles to figure out who might be wanting to kill her. It looks like everyone that works at the carnival has a reason to want to kill her. There's the pretzel. Ooh, look at the eight balls hidden underneath there. There's the handprint. Now we just need the spider. Or spoider, as Samwise would pronounce it in Lord of the Rings. Little spider on the wall. Ain't you got no clothes at all? No shirt, no shoes, no panty waist? <laughs> it's a little poem a friend of mine used to say when we were in high school. Alright, well we can come back to this. Let's go back to the map. Well, let's leave that spider alone there for a little while. Okay, so we've been to the shooting gallery, the concession stand, the ringmaster's tent. We have seven clues left, five hints. And we have Bianca to visit. She is one of the employees at the carnival. And so there will be special puzzles here, yeah. In order to get in to see her and solve her hidden object puzzles, we have to solve this word puzzle. We have to form two words of opposite meaning that share the central letter tile. So this N is here in both words. And these words are opposites of each other. And we have to figure out what these words are. Softness, maybe? I guess that's a word, isn't it? So this one would be firmness. Yeah, we got it! Oh gosh, that was the fastest I've done those word puzzles in this game. Okay, so in this now we have to try to find 10 rockets and 10 feathers. And if we find them really fast and click on them really fast, we'll actually add time back to our clock here. So let's see what we can do. Rocket! Feather! Rocket! Rocket! Is that a feather? No! Feather! Now there's other things. I see lots of propellers here as well. 
We're not looking for propellers or balloons. There's a lot of balloons. We're looking well for done. rockets and feathers. Oh, there's matches, I think, as well. I think we had to find matches last time we were in here. Interacting with her. Maybe I'm thinking of another puzzle. Yeah, every time that we talk to one of the employees of the carnival, we have to do this little, like, hidden multiple object thing like that. Okay, so we need one rocket and four feathers to finish this one off. Four feathers. That's a lot of feathers. There's one. There's a feather. One rocket, two feathers. Is that a rocket? Oh, I thought it was just a bomb. Okay, I guess that counts as a rocket. So now we need to find two feathers. Oh, is that one? Yes. Okay, so just one left. I might have to break down and use a hint. Alright, let's do it. Oh, right there. Oh, that was really well hidden. Let's go back to the shooting gallery. What did I ever do to deserve this? And try to find a marble, a spade, a pencil, and a fan. We can do it. We can do it. Come on. Oh, I think that's the spade they're talking about. Like on a, a spade of uh, a deck of cards. Yep, there it is. Okay, we got one. Is that the fan? It is. We got it. Alright, let's use a hint. Ah, there's the pencil. It's not even a proper pencil with like an eraser on the end or whatever. It's one of those little teeny tiny miniature golf pencils. Oh my gosh. The marble is also probably just some teeny tiny little circle somewhere. Like the nose on the end of a stuffed animal or something. Is that the marble? It is! We did it. Oh my god. Alright. One hidden clue remaining. Where shall we go? The ringmaster's tent. I think we've got to find it in here. <gasps> That's the thread right there. Yes. Excellent work. With these items, the ball may be used to see if the suspect will be a threat at the stroke of twelve. Gaze upon the window of yet to be. Unfasten the window to the puzzling future. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we have to solve this puzzle. Only the sharpest of minds can untangle the future's knot. Uh huh, okay. And reveal the suspect's future. Use the hotline if you're really stuck. Okay. This is similar to those crazy door puzzles in the Ravenhurst game. Oh. I didn't, I didn't, what did I do? I wasn't, I wasn't trying to move this. Oh. What did I do? What did I do? Clear it. Clear it. It moved over here. I didn't, I didn't know. What did I do? Okay. What can we click on here? Do we need to get three in each hat? Is that the thing? Oh, it says purple. Oh, maybe we gotta get purple into here? Oh. Oh, well, 
Poggy Woggy! Disco, everybody, disco. All right, I think we have to clear it. Ah, okay. Oh, it moved. I guess I was too dumb. Oh, it's blue. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to get it in the blue one here. I was Look sharp. I was getting into the, the orange dark one. Veil of the hours to come. Well, that one should just fall straight in. Yeah, there we go. Dang it. There we go. How in the world are we gonna get that from there to there? It's it's oh it moved. It moved for us. Oh thank you. Oh, it's moving over there. I guess I'm being too dumb. That was it, wasn't it? Oh no, I've got one more to do. Mm. Oh, I could remove them. I didn't know that. as if someone will slip a little something extra in our Mambo's nightcap. That should quench his thirst for power. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Work quickly and find my killer. Yeah, she called me in. I'm some kind of detective and she called me in because she thinks that all her employees or one of her employees is plotting to kill her, but... It seems like she's the one plotting to kill all of her employees. Or they're plotting to kill each other. I, I don't know. But next we have to investigate Tabitha, the lion tamer. Ha <laughs> ha 